Hi friends, I'm back again. What I'm going to show you today is my red pepper and tomato soup using my fantastic soup maker. I bought this soup maker very shortly after first getting my braces and it's been an absolute godsend to be honest. Um, made by Tefl called Easy Soup and I bought it on, on Amazon. I think it was about £60 um, but really you'll find it when you when you get braces, um, you will need to, to only eat very, very soft food. So I'm gonna run through my ingredients first of all. What I've got is I've got two red peppers, okay? I've got, I'm gonna probably use four or five red tomatoes. Now I bought buy the fairly cheap ones for soup. Um, they come in a pack of six for about 65 pence from the supermarket. I've got one onion, don't have a massive onion because you don't want to get um, the soup really tasting too oniony. And I'm going to put one stick of celery in today. I've got tomato puree, not going to use the whole tube, probably going to use about a third of the tube. Okay, I want a little bit of olive oil, I want salt and pepper for seasoning, a little squirt of lemon juice, don't go overboard on that, um, a little shake of chopped garlic just from the jar, a little bit of flaked um, chilli and then a small amount of vinegar. I'm using balsamic vinegar, but you can use any vinegar you like. Again, quite small quantities. I'll talk you through it as I do it, okay? And then I've got um, some boiling water in which I've melted a vegetable stock cube, a gnaw stock cube. Um, inside the soup maker, there are two different levels which show you how much liquid to put in, okay? Um, I'm gonna just open up, you take the lid off and you'll see it's got these very sharp prongs okay um, which are brilliant because they're going to cut it all up for me so although I'm going to chop my vegetables up I'm going to show you that I don't actually chop them very small um haven't actually got any gloves on I'm suddenly wishing I did because I did paint my nails a couple of days ago bubblegum pink which I'm very much in appreciating um and I don't really want to mess it up anymore I try and be careful so I don't wreck my nail varnish um so I'm just kind of de-seeding my pepper and then I'm actually going to put it onto the this red chopping board because the red one I like because it's got this edge here, I don't know if you call that beveled, but it's got little slidey edges. It means when you've chopped your veg, you can just slide it straight into your soup maker. So um, I'm going to just chop up my pepper, okay. And as I say, you only need to chop it up fairly roughly, okay. Um, I'm going to give you an idea of the size in a moment because luckily the soup maker is going to do most of the work for me. So can you kind of see that size? Okay, obviously you want to chop it a bit because you don't actually want to break your soup maker and it's trying to chop and then it conks out or something. That would be very annoying. So how I de-seed my red pepper, I tend to draw a line with the knife. Let me show you, sort of round near the store cage. Can you see? Um, and then I kind of give it a bit of a twist and I take out any extra bits. So what I've got is I've got the pepper left like that and I put it on its end. Um, if the pepper's quite ripe, you can sometimes just pull these bits off quite easily. This one isn't quite as ripe as usual, so I'm having, actually, it's, it's, actually, it's actually coming off fine. Don't know what I'm talking about, really. Okay, so there we go, that's some of the pepper. Chop this one up roughly. Hope you can see a bit. I mean, I'm only using my own iPhone camera and I mean it's very amateurish how I do it because you, you'll never guess how I set this up. I've actually got a lump of Play-Doh stuck on my worktop and then I've got a selfie stick which my camera's in, my phone's in and I prop that up on my worktop in front of me and that's how technical and professional I am um, because as you know I'm kind of brand new to the YouTube world. And I'm just doing it for a bit of fun, really, because I've enjoyed, I've had some lovely comments from people. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll carry on and see where it goes. But then, um, and I, lo I love the fact that the other day when I did the um, video about making a chocolate cake, one of my old pupils uh, messaged me on YouTube and said she'd actually made the cake. And then she sent me a, a really hilarious um, picture of herself with all chocolate cake around her mouth. It, it did make me laugh. But I just thought, yay, that's exactly what I wanted. You know, people might be able to sort of see that you can just cook very easily, very quickly, um, certain recipes. I'm not a professional 
chef in any way, obviously, as you can see. Oops. Um, but I am just a very much a, a family chef. Cooked for my family for years. Now with the celery, can't stand the strings. Can you see I'm pulling the strings off? If you're even more fussy about them, get your potato peeler and just peel off the strings, okay? You don't, because although that um, soup maker does chop, kind of liquidise everything very nicely for you, really celery strings are not going to be chopped up very well at all. So I'm just going to kind of quickly chop up my celery. Okay, put that in. I hope you can't hear a little noise in the background. My dog is actually eating um, her, her breakfast and she's doing it quite noisily. So there always seems to be some sound effect going on in this house when I do my videos. Right, so that's the onion chopped up. What, what I did, I peeled it first before I started filming and then I always run it under the cold water tap, which actually takes quite a lot of the toxins away and you'll find hopefully that you won't have your eyes stinging you too much because you've uh, washed a lot of the stingy toxins out of the onion, okay? So, gosh, that's look, looking quite full up actually. So I don't know if you, that's the onions on top. If you get it, to be honest, if you put too much in here, it's gonna beep and it won't actually start. So you have to take something else. So can you see me? I'm about to squeeze in the tomato puree. As I say about a third of the tube. Um, you don't wanna go mad with it because it actually can make it slightly bitter. But the lovely thing about the tomato puree is it does make it thick. So now I'm putting some pepper in, putting my salt in. You know me, I don't really measure. I kind of guess and just hope for the best. A little squirt of lemon, not too much. Okay, and then I've got my garlic puree, a little bit of that, a few chilli flakes. These are all optional. You know, if you don't like to have your, your soup a little bit with a hot flavour, then don't put chilli flakes in. A little bit of balsamic vinegar, that will do. And then I just think the oil kind of adds to it. It makes it slightly richer, I think. So a little, a little about a tablespoon of oil, okay. Um, now I'm going to put my melted stock cube in. That's actually just a pint, but I'm going to need a bit more. So I'll go over and do that in a minute. I'm just going to stop you for a minute. Um, and then I'm going to go and put my soup maker on. So shortly you... Now this... Oh, yes. So I should say that this soup maker, once you've plugged it in... Now I tend to stand it underneath my extractor fan because you'll be surprised quite a lot of steam comes out when it's cooking. Also, about halfway through, it starts making a big noise because it, where it's chopping everything up when it's cooking it. Um, and it only takes about 20 minutes. It's absolutely brilliant. So one of my favourite things to do on a Saturday morning is I've made sure I bought my ingredients. Um, while I'm listening to Graham Norton on Radio 2, who I love, um, I, make, I prepare this soup, put it on, and then me and my husband, we walk our two dogs and we go to the baker's and get some nice bread and when we come back soup's ready we have bread and soup around the kitchen table and that's my kind of saturday morning um, tell me what your sort of favorite saturday morning is um, be back with you shortly okay right okay the soup is now done and i've served some up into a white bowl so you get a, a nice view of it look how beautifully rich that looks and i'll give it a taste that is delicious. I would recommend anyone trying this recipe. Um, obviously I've got the soup maker, but if you haven't got a soup maker, you can do all of that in a large saucepan. And then when it's cooked, you can just whiz it up with a, um, what do you call, I don't know what they call now, but anyway, you know what I mean, just one of those things that cuts it all up small. Um, but yeah, the soup maker cost me, I think about 60 pounds and I have used it practically every single day since I've had these braces on. So anyone's got braces, I'm giving it a big thumbs up and um, to recommend it to you. Anyway, have a lovely day and I will speak to you again.